Do you prefer your Book of the Dead's bound in gold or f- human flesh? I think the title gives it away that I'm not touching it. Book of the Dead? Yeah, no. okay. I'm not going anywhere near it. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a new franchise to jump into. Well, not new. This movie came out like 20 years ago. New for you. New for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the classic universal monster, The Mummy. Scary, you think? That's why I've never watched it. Yeah. I didn't want to be scared. But it stars one of your favorite actors, Brendan Fraser. You <laughs> loved him in Encino Man. <laughs> and Biodome, yeah. The Blast from the Past. <laughs> and uh, and Son-in-Law. Is he in Son-in-Law? He has a cameo. Okay. It's like before he was the thing. Unfortunately, Polly Shore is not in this movie. Dang it. With his buddy. I did love him in Blast from the Past. You're right. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. What are you expecting from this movie? Some stuff in Africa, like Egypt-ish. Okay. Mummies and such. Okay. Oh, well, that's a pretty good guess. Nailing it, right? Should we jump in and find out if you're right? I guess so. Well, let's do it. <laughs> First, like, comment, and subscribe. Coming up for us for The Mummy tonight. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full link commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link is down below. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you like Twitter or Instagram, you can follow us, at you, me, the movies. And if you don't, then don't. Just ignore everything she just said. That's right. Let's watch The Mummy. Here we go. You don't think this is going to give me nightmares? I hope not. It might give me nightmares. Mummies are just kind of scary, you know? They're just dead people. Mummified. Yeah, but like they're always walking around like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it might stem back from like a hocus pocus sort of oh, that, yeah. scary moment. He wasn't a mummy, but first prediction already accurate. <laughs> they look like the guys from Stargate. Yeah. Huh. Lost. Lost. Isn't that yeah, yeah. A big thing? Yeah. Kind of like that. Home of Imhotep, keeper of the dead, birthplace of Anaxuna Moon, Pharaoh's mistress. She can outfit like that. That looks like just body paint, honey. Even better. <laughs> She's not even wearing anything, just body paint. And rocking it, if I must say. Yeah, I wish my body looked that good painted. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. But for their love. Why does he look so familiar? He's a pretty famous actor. Uh oh. Ruining her paint. Is that her dad? Oh. She better run back to Cleopatra's secret and get that body paint fixed, though. Oh, her husband? Husband dead. Husband dead. Husband dead. Husband? Resurrect me? Is she not alive now? Oh. Uh. She's performed Sudoku on herself. Imhotep and his priests broke into her crypt and stole her body, taking Anaxunamun's corpse to Hamunaptra. Her vital organs removed and placed in five sacred canopic jars. So what vital, five vital organs are those? Heart, stomach, liver, kidney. Spleen? Brain? Oh, maybe. That would be a vital organ, yeah. Stomach's not... <laughs> Stomach might not be right. <laughs> But Pharaoh's bodyguards had followed him and stopped him before the ritual could be completed. Oh no! Wait, do we want her to come back to life? I don't know, they're using like dark arts and... Yeah, like black magic kind um, of stuff. Alright, so maybe, maybe it'll be okay then. Oh 
mummified alive. At least it's better than them killing them and then mummifying them, right? No. No. Horrible had never before been bestowed. Oh god, no. Is that typical of mummification? No, I think it's a punishment. Oh, I do not like bugs like that. I don't like it when they do bugs in mass like scarabs? The Magi would never allow him to be released, for he would arise a walking disease, a plague upon mankind. Why would they give him that power? I am already confused. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be easier to kill him? Maybe. With, without giving him the, the evil bug power? And for 3,000 years, the Magi, the descendants of Pharaoh's sacred bodyguards, kept watch. Good guys or bad guys? Hmm? I'm having a hard time identifying who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. And I really just gotta shut up here. They're a bit outnumbered. Picked the wrong statue to stand in front of. Jesus. It's like the smoke monster from Lost, but creepier. Nailed it. <laughs> well, she's got job security. She's going to have to put all those books back. <laughs> oh, man. I don't care how long it takes. Straighten up this machine. I think she's going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> she might need some help getting the book stands or the bookshelves yeah. back up. Right? They, they look pretty hefty. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> God. Why did you get this? I want to dig down in uh, Thebes. Great. Key to the evil bug guy. Jonathan. I think that's just a classic Rubik's Cube. The entire Acropolis was rigged to sink into the sand and Pharaoh's command. Up the He's going to light that thing on fire. You've burnt it. You've burnt off the part of the lost city. It's for the best, I'm sure. So he's in on it. He's in on some sort of big conspiracy. You think he's trying to protect the location? Must be. And who's the broad? <laughs> Do I know you? No, no, no. no. I, I've just got one of those faces. <laughs> A hittable face. Yeah, right? Do you really want to know? Yes. Don't punch her in the face, please. Then get me the hell out of here. He had a very good time. <laughs> I will give you 100 pounds to save this man's life. And what else? I'm a very lonely man. <laughs> oh, God. 10%. 50%. 20. 40. 30. 25. Ah, deal. <laughs> Back at Jizaport. Jesus. Please don't call it that. That reminds me, no hard feelings about the... Uh... Cleans up oh, nice. Uh, happens all the time. <laughs> Just gonna pop the tires on that, on that boat. Oh, I think it's like a booger shovel. It really cleans you up. Are we, are we going into battle? No, he's just American. And the fact that they say that it's made out of pure gold makes no never mind to you. <laughs> Why did you kiss me? <laughs> no, I was about to be hanged. It seemed like a good idea at the time. It's always a good reason. Well, if it ain't my little buddy Benny, I think I'll kill him. He didn't die in that cave. 
they pay me only half now, half when I get them back to Cairo. So this time I must go all the way. <laughs> you always did have more balls and brains. <laughs> Throw him overboard, right? Goodbye, Benny. Uh oh. Jesus. You're getting jump scared a lot tonight. God, I. I'm the map. It's all up here. Oh, that's comforting. Can you swim? Of course I can swim if the occasion calls for it. Trust me. It calls for it. <laughs> He's like, I see what he did there. <laughs> that guy was pretty slow at shooting for fanning the hammer there. <laughs> it looks to me like I've got all the horses! Looks to me like you're on the wrong side of the river! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Probably could have got him for free. All we had to do is give him your sister. <laughs> she got some new clothes, apparently, huh? Yep. Is that supposed to be her? It's like a really bad stunt double. <laughs> Are you sure it was a stunt double? I think so. I think she's really riding a camel. I, I know, but I don't think she was in that very first scene. Oh, okay. The hair looked really weird. You ever been to Egypt? Nope. Have you? Nope. You ever want to go? You can go to Giza. I got no interest in... You don't want to see the pyramids? Desert. Oh. Not really. Like the pictures are good enough for me, probably. You don't like sand? Heat, sand. Hmm. <laughs> Remember our bet, O'Connell. First one to the city. Can you believe Amanatra? Who wins the race? I don't know. I guess I never considered that a camel would be really fast. Like, as fast as a horse. They got the stamina for the desert, though, right? Yeah. Is it just one of them has to beat the other one, or, like, the whole group has to get there? And... <laughs> Do they know something we don't? They're led by a woman. What does a woman know? I don't know what she knows. Uh, here, this is for you. He had her clothes the whole time. Oh, her tools. Hey, look for bugs. I hate bugs. <gasps> Do you realize we're standing inside a room that no one... What's your favorite kind of bug? I don't like bugs. No. So a dead bug? There you go. That sounds like big bugs. bugs. You mean bugs? I hate bugs. I feel you, brother. I don't mind a roly poly. <laughs> hey, roly polies are nice. They mind their own business. And then when you touch them, they like, like leave me alone. You're kind of like a roly poly human. Me? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Your odds are not so great, O'Connell. I've had worse. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Would not recommend going off by yourself. Yeah, what's he gonna find? Bugs. A mummy? Bugs. What yeah. Something tells me this place just kind of helps you, uh, your worst fears become realized. I think perhaps we should let the diggers open it. Hmm? 
Oh, I think we should listen to the good doctor, Henry. <laughs> like, I don't want to touch that. You know how they took out your brains. Evie, I don't think we need to know this. Through your nose. Stick it up your nose, scramble things about a bit, and then rip it all out through your nostrils. Yeah, use those long nose pickers. That's right. Light wire. You forgot to yell four. Oh, he did something very naughty. They did the same thing to the people that were important as to the people that were horrible. That's... A bad business plan. I think they did it to the people that were horrible while they were still alive, though. Yeah, but maybe put them somewhere else where you wouldn't be confused as to whether or not it's a good person buried here or a bad person buried here. <laughs> uh, yep. Gross, 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 gross. <clears throat> Oh god, he's now a bug. He, he turns into an evil bug. <laughs> he turns into a bug? It just went into his brain. He's looking for a key. Maybe that's mine. Don't. Oh, jeez. Did he get it? I don't know. I don't. I believe if I can see it and I can touch it, then it's real. That's what I believe. I believe in being prepared. Me too. Yep. I'm with him. <laughs> okay, time for another drink. I just had enough to drink. <laughs> what is a place like me doing in a girl like this? <laughs> Call me Rick. Is that actually his name? <laughs> I think his name's Richard. It's a popular name back then. It just doesn't strike me as a Rick. He will kill all who open this chest and assimilate their organs and fluids. And in so doing, he will regenerate and no longer be the undead, but a plague upon this earth. Again, why would you even give him that option? <laughs> this man must have been condemned not only in this life, but in the next. That break? Yeah, I'm all serious. Yeah, let's open it. It's fine. God, I hate it when these things. Well, it looks as if he's still decomposing. I'm sure he smells wonderful. Fingernails. Or toenails. Only your toenails would do that. <laughs> Might are nice and trim right now. <laughs> No, I wouldn't trade you for a breast. That's where the organs go. Well, maybe they're valuable now. You can get transplants <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you prefer your Book of the Dead's bound in gold or human flesh? I feel like both are. I think the title gives it away that I'm not touching it. Book of the Dead? Yeah. Okay. Not going anywhere near it. Unfortunately for our friend, he was still alive when they started eating him. So somebody threw him. <laughs> then was it? No, probably got a little too frisky with the pharaoh's daughter. It was a daughter? That if a victim of the Hom die should ever arise, he would bring with him the ten plagues of Egypt. Get away. <laughs> Why would you give something so evil so, so much power? Huh? Because death is only the beginning for them. It's only the beginning for all of us, but... Yeah. Too deep. It's just a book. No harm ever came from... She didn't say the three magic words. I don't remember the magic Klaatu, words. Klaatu, Varata, Niktu. Why would I ever remember that? Because you're supposed to. <laughs> I would never, ever remember that. You must not read from the book! Too late. Yeah, never read aloud from a book called The Book of the Dead. Never. Just read in your head. Right? <laughs> right. Ooh. 
Locusts? What have we done? Yeah. Yeah, I hate that feeling. We don't have to worry about it anymore. I know I haven't had it in quite a, in a couple of years, but I remember it well because you're like. <laughs> oh God, no! Ugh. Oh no. Oh, Mr. Burns, thank goodness I was just starting to get scared. I've lost everyone. I, I mean, not the not the eyes you want to take. Do you think he's got blurred he, vision now? Yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> Needs glasses. Oh no. His tongue and his eyes. I thought she said they worked slowly. That was pretty was damn fast. <laughs> you have unleashed the creature that we had feared for more than 3,000 years. Relax, I got him. <laughs> you will never eat. You will never sleep. You will never stop. How, how do you stop it, then? Figure it out. Protecting Bach over me as a shepherd watches over his flock. Oh, great. Okay, I would sell a soul to the devil for gold rings. Yeah. I have a feeling that's not the last we see of him, huh? Look, you can either tag along with me or you can stay here and try and save the world. She better start reading some books, because how is she going to figure out how to save the world from that thing? Keeps walking through that fountain. Oh well, back to the airfield. <laughs> I would say flight. <laughs> he had his eyes and his tongue ripped out. What would you be? Blind and mute. The prince oh. must finish the job and consummate the curse. Still rocking the scarabs, too, huh? Mm. Love it. We've got problems. Fire and brimstone. It's never good. Hey, you little stinkweed, where you been? Hanging out with his buddy. All right, we've got a weakness. Cats. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's why Egyptians like cats. During Stargate, you're wondering why they worship cats. Oh, yeah. Keep away evil mummies. We should get a cat. We got barn cats. It's close enough. And it appears he's already chosen his human sacrifice. Oh, I thought maybe it was just because he did, couldn't see good with those <laughs> eyes. <laughs> you look kind of like her. <laughs> Sorry, then he's a bit tall. He's a bit tall. Let's go, Jonathan. Oh, well, I thought I could just stay at the fort and uh, reconnoiter. Now! Yes. <laughs> Stealthy. Let me guess. Spring clean. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Turned him into a human raisin. He got his book and some organs. I think I have bad breath. Super. Picking them off pretty quickly. You find an army of cats. Right? right? Like, why did why was that not their first step? Go back to the apartment, find lots of cats. He's 
getting fast. Each of them... Oh, God, with the bugs. Each of them should have been carrying a cat yeah, in right. a fanny pack with them at all times. A little cat pack? Yes, exactly. I knock so no more. Yeah. Look what I got. <gasps> cats. Army of cats. Give that cat to the last guy remaining here. The black book that the Americans found at Amanapcha is supposed to bring people back. Like, where's the cat, damn it? Maybe they gave it to that guy that went to get the bourbon. He's right there. Oh. He's not carrying a cat. Maybe they're going to the cat room. It's full of cats. So if the black book is inside the statue of Anubis, then the golden book must be inside... That museum? The golden book of Amun Ra is at Hamanaptra inside the statue of Horus. Take that. You gotta get your ass back to Hamanaptra. <laughs> well done. Zombies aren't the smartest. Do you believe they fell for that? <laughs> Still don't know why they're not packing a cat with them. What do you think happens to Benny? God, I hope he dies. There's not enough seatbelts for all of them. Heck, there probably wasn't even seatbelts for any of them. No, not him! It's the last organ he needs. Don't think it matters. Mm. He is whole now. If he turns me into a mummy, you're the first one I'm coming after. <laughs> I'll be seeing you again. What about her, though? <laughs> I'm gonna be seeing her again. So what's your little problem got to do with His Majesty's Royal Air Corps? Have that guy sobered up yet? Looks like it. Stress, kill the bad guy, and save the world. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Winston Havelock, at your service. <laughs> See that? I've never seen one so big. That's what she said. Good one. That's the bad guy. Emotep. That's a lot of sand. Yeah, it's giving me allergies. Stop it! You'll kill them! He's blowing his face or something. <laughs> Set her down, buddy. Probably good. Excuse me. Looks like Winston's gone. Um, he went out to blaze glory. Yeah, just what he wanted. His hair is glorious. Brent Fraser's? No, the other fellas. The the guards. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I prefer Imhotep's hairstyle. You would. It's more my speed. Yeah, you come and have a look at this. There's no time for that. Oh, sh oh, great. He's got some helpers now. More mummies. Holy moly. Damn. It's a lot of gold. Or uh, chocolate. Covered in gold foil. A lot of mummies. Great. This kind of reminds me of that one movie you like. 
A girl gets strapped down. What? Fifty Shades or something like that. Running out of time. Book of Amun Ra. Yo, the creature. Ah! We don't have a key. Is it liquid? Is it smoke? Probably like a gel. Hmm. Mummies are pretty weak. They have no muscle mass, so. Beautiful swing. Uh oh. Persistent little boogers. Oh, he's gonna be able to grab the hand now. Yes. They just keep on coming. Lovely. Oh yeah. This just keeps getting better and better. Those look more like the Pharaoh's guys, don't they? <laughs> Theirs was better. <laughs> oh, I love it when they can climb on walls and ceilings. Yep, that's my yep. favorite. Descent style. Find her, throw her the book, and let her read it. They probably won't hit any vital organs, so it's okay. Just twist it right back on. No problem. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Kadishmal, Kadishmal. He's mortal. Oh. Well, it's like special water now. It's gonna like bring him back to life. Okay, no. The exact opposite. Perfect. He's re decomposing. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> uh, I hope a scarab gets him. Well, on the bright side, he's rich now. <sighs> Not so bright side. There's gonna be thousands of them, right? It gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> would have thought dung beetles would have been his preferred bug of choice. <laughs> He's so alive! Well, I'm happy to see he did not die. That is yeah. so nice. Leaving us, yeah. At least you got camels. You'll be good. How about you, darling? Would you like a little kissy whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> Careful, they spit. Weren't there like 16 camels? Couldn't she have ridden her own camel? Maybe she likes riding Dutch. I mean, who doesn't, but... Is he having a dream over there? Yep. <laughs> little puppy dream. Did he just fart? No. Oh, is he crying? <laughs> is he running, or was he just sad? He was sad. Aww. Poor puppers. A sad dream. All right. That was the mummy. 
Sure was. Probably Brendan Fraser's most iconic role as O'Connell. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I actually liked it a lot. Yeah. I, I mean, some there were a couple good yeah, jumps. You jumped a in couple there. times, yeah. yeah. But it was a lot like Indiana Jones. Yeah, it was very Indiana Jones. Probably yeah. a little bit more lighthearted than Indy, less serious. Right? I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't know how I was going to feel about Brendan Fraser, but yeah, you don't think he's action adventure I, hero type. I didn't. Obviously, I knew he was because he did all of these movies. Yeah. But he was Encino Man. <laughs> yeah, he was Encino Man. <laughs> So, did you like O'Connell? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I liked the character, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, who was your favorite character of the group outside of o- O'Connell? Evelyn. Evelyn? Yeah. Okay. Right. I always like Jonathan. He's always fun. He's funny. He's definitely the comedic. Comic relief? Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, are you ready for the next Mummy movie next week? We're just jumping right into oh, it? Yeah, we're going through all the Mummy movies. There like six of them? No, there's only three. Oh, okay. Well, unless you want to count the Scorpion King movies, which we could. No. No? Let's not count those. You don't want to count those? I don't right. think they're the same, are they? They're in the same universe. Are they really? Yeah. Both in Egypt? Both in the <laughs> desert? That makes them part of the I same I meant universe. movie universe, not location of geography and setting, right? They're both universal? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Universal made the Scorpion King, too. Mm, right? I don't know. You'll find out more about Scorpion King in the next one. I think. can't wait. So what do you think of Emotep? The mummy. It is creepy. Now, 20 years later, the CGI doesn't really hold up, but this was kind of a, a big time It wasn't that. CGI it wasn't movie. that bad. I mean, you had to expect that the CGI was yeah. in its infancy, sort of. Mm-hmm. Maybe not infancy, but... They used a lot of it in this, so... Yeah. And you could tell, but it wasn't as bad as, like, aliens. That was, like, Five years before this, so. This was better than that. (laughs) What was your favorite outfit of Evie's? The last one? I don't know. I wasn't really looking at her outfits. The little black outfit she had? Sure. That was my my favorite. I don't remember any of the other ones. Okay. I thought you'd be paying attention to that, but apparently not. When have I ever cared about what clothes look like? (laughs) I don't know. You're right. I don't know why I thought you would care. Those are like the things that like girls are supposed to care about, like clothes and hair. I don't care about either of those. You noticed her hair when it was her stunt double or something. Well, yeah, because it looked funny. (laughs) It looked really weird. Yeah. Like those are the things that I do not notice on other women at all. Well, if you could have a a piece of Egyptian treasure from the treasure room, what would you go with? I don't know what kind of items there were in there. Just pick them probably... A bunch of different golden things. One of those statues, I guess. One of those big golden statues. You want a big golden statue? And you give me crap about all the shit I want in this house? At least it'd be worth something. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> no, it'd be priceless. Whatever. What What would you... What, uh, that was a dumb question. No, I, I'd take a golden scimitar. Pretty sure Benny had one of those. The knife? The scimitars, those big curved swords. Mm-hmm. Right? Since you won't let me have a... Samurai sword, might as well get a scimitar. What should people comment on after this amazing adventure movie? Favorite gold item that you'd take with you? What Egyptian treasure would you want? <laughs> so I think that's a good stupid. question. Right. Yeah, I know nothing about Egyptian treasure, so. Yeah. And how do you like the mummy movies? Where do these stack up in your adventure films that you like to rewatch? Right. Yeah, sure. And uh, get ready for The Mummy Returns next week. Ooh. Anything else? Is he really going to come back? What's the name of the next movie? I don't know. We'll have to find out what it's about. And I hope he died. Well, I mean, he was... Pretty well dead. Redecomposed, as they say. As I say. I don't really think it's a word. Hey, I redecomp. That's probably a thing. Redecomposed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for The Mummy. Come back next week for The Mummy Returns. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.